Hi, I'm Eric Rosenbaum, and I'm a graduate student at the MIT Media Lab. I'm part of a research group there called Lifelong Kindergarten. We're inspired by the way people learn in kindergarten by doing creative things, and we ask, how can we give people creative experiences of learning throughout their lives? Lots of kids uh, consume media. They watch movies and cartoons, they play video games, but they don't get too many chances to create those things themselves. And so we made this tool that lets you make stuff like games and animations and share them on the web with other kids. Um, it is a programming language, but instead of typing in text, you snap together graphical blocks on the screen to make things happen. Uh, and they can be interactive things, where you can move something with the keyboard or click on something to make a sound. Let me show you. This is the Scratch software. It's available for free online if you just go to scratch.mit.edu. Let me show you how it works. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, there are these blue things we call blocks. I can drag them out onto the script area and click on them. This one says, move 10 steps. And when I click on it, it makes the cat move across the screen a little bit. I can change the number. For example, if I make it a negative number, what's going to happen? He moves backwards. OK. I can take another block, say this one. It says, turn clockwise 15 degrees. So I click on that, and the cat is turning. But now I can snap them together, and I have a little program, move and then turn. If I were to keep clicking this, the cat would go in a circle. He steps and turns and steps and turns. But I don't want to keep clicking, so I can use a special block called forever. It has kind of a mouth. I stick the blocks into it. And now, when the stack of blocks gets to the bottom, it loops back up to the top. So now I click on it, and he's going around forever. What are some other things I can do? Well, I have this change color effect block. If I click on that, the color of the cat is changing. And if I put that into the forever loop, now it's changing colors really fast. I could put a smaller number in there, and it changes a little more slowly. This stamp block, when I click on it, it makes the cat leave a picture of himself on the stage each time I click. So if I put that into the forever loop, now he's kind of painting and it's changing color as he's painting. One way to make this interactive is to use this block we call loudness. The loudness block has a different shape from the rest of the blocks. That's because instead of uh, doing something, an action or a command, it just represents a number, which is the loudness in the room. So if I plug that block in where it says move 10 steps, now you can see the cat is going in a tight little circle, except when I make a sound with my voice. Woo! So I can meow, I can make the cat woo, yeah. I can make the cat kind of jump across the screen by making a louder sound because a louder sound gives it a bigger number, and then the bigger number goes into the move block, which makes him move a longer distance. Of course, it's not just about the cat. If I wanted to get a different character, I could just go down here and import something from our library. We have lots of different interesting creatures here. Um, so say I want this wizard. Now I have another character, and I can give that character its own set of blocks to make an animation or an interactive game. Scratch has been translated into over 60 different languages, as you can see here from the menu. And people are using it already all over the world. And one of the coolest things you can do with Scratch is share what you made on the web. So here's the share menu. And once you do that, your Scratch project appears on our Scratch homepage, scratch.mit.edu. Same place you go to get the software. And there, you can browse through many, many projects made by, made by lots of different kids around the world. In fact, we now have over 2.4 million projects created by, by kids. And there's an amazing variety of stuff. So for example, here's something called Pixel Craft Plus. Another one called Tron Lego. Um, what else have I got here? A water balloons game, the custom cat carnival, the stick computer, uh, an Easter egg thing. What does Pi sound like? A hero game. So there's a lot of different kinds of things that you can do with Scratch. So I encourage you to explore and poke around on the website and check out what kids are doing. And also download the software and try it out yourself.